Dude, McQueeb is so nice. This game doesn't deserve McQueeb. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, God. If I don't die, uh, I've done a good. This is gonna take a second. I can't help but notice. 1.9 rate of fire. Big fan. Our damage is really good, though. Four on the first floor is not bad. It's a shame about the bullets going out once every 20 minutes. It's just a, it's just a room two Krampus kind of day. <laughs> it's just a Krampus room two sort of day. There's another damage upgrade. Goodness gracious. Uh, I sure as hell am not going to forgo the red key. Sorry, Krampus's head. I guess if that's what I had to do. If that's what I had to do to uh, walk out of there with our super duper secret item of, of the floor, then so be it. Good turkey day. You know what? I will say this, and I'm glad Justin's here to hear it. Despite, I, was, I, was, I was saying to Justin, I was saying to Justin yesterday that in years past, I would take... I would take the technical issues as like a commentary on my failure where where, where you know um once upon a time if something like that were to go so sideways you know and, and put us behind this you know put us behind schedule and have us launch without like really having buffed all of it out i i would have i would have looked at looked at that and thought to myself like well that's that's a commentary on how, you know, uh, that's a commentary on how, how, ooh, I'm a little nervous about this. One second. But in my head, I was like, yeah, that's, that, that, like, in years past, that would be me saying, like, oh, well, that's just me being a failure at streaming. Obviously, if I knew what the hell I was doing, uh, obviously if I knew what the hell I was doing, that'd all be sorted. I don't- I need to not touch that. But, I'll, I'll tell you what, chat, ever since the, uh... Ever since the great Windows install of, like, 2019, or- I think it's 2019... I've just accepted that technical difficulties come with the turf, and when you tell chat they're in on it, and there's like, hey, you're good, you- if you guys want to... You can be with Justin and I while we figure this bullshit out. Generally speaking, everyone goes, yeah, sure, dude. Maybe we can help. And I'm like, maybe you can. Let's hang out and talk while we sort this shit out. Ever since ever since we had to reinstall Windows live on stream, uh, I, have, I have let go of that where Justin and I were kind of sweating it. And then we just kind of looked at each other and went, we'll do it live. <laughs> We'll go live. I've got to cook. I need hours. You probably could benefit from having some other people who know anything about this chime in. Justin knows about it. I'm saying, like, I was of no use. W once we plugged them in and they didn't work, I was completely useless. Um, so, yeah, ultimately, like, we did get it working, which is great. Uh... Yeah, man. And then, and then uh, you know, Justin said, too, it's like, it was, it was an awful lot of fun. It ended up being a, an awful lot of fun. And much like Justin, I, I you know, yesterday would have been nerve-wracking, like, because I had my in-laws over for the first time ever for, uh... I had my in-laws over for the first time ever for Thanksgiving, where I hosted. And it would have been nerve-wracking, but I had a big-ass stream. And actually, like, having a big-ass stream, uh, was very helpful. Like, <laughs> I didn't dismiss them, but I was like, hey, hold on, I gotta go do this thing. <laughs> And, and the thing that I was doing was way more in my element than, than socializing with people. Justin, how did the end of, uh, how the end of your stream go? I, I, I ended up actually renting last night in Soho for like 20 bucks. But I, I just, I needed a minute to unwind and I wanted to spend time with Amber, so it was worth the money. Shockingly well. Toaster worked. Toaster oven came, came in. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I want to see. In case, in case this stream makes it over to YouTube, uh, I'll pull this over. 
so that the folks on YouTube can see. But uh, Justin did a sad bastard. Uh, <laughs> it was a single sad man Thanksgiving depression extravaganza. So we'll let, let everyone see. <laughs> So he came over and helped me cook a m monster meal for many, many people. And then he made almost everything that I made, except he made them in single person servings. He wanted badly to get like a partridge or a squab. He wanted badly to get like a partridge or a squab or something, or a quail, but all he could get was a full ass, lot, like a full ass turkey breast, which now he has to eat for like a week and a half straight to get rid of all the meat. But everything else was in these tiny little souffle cups. Like that that was it. He did he did entire recipes, but he did them all in single serving souffle cups. And it looks like it came out quite well. Think I ate it at like eleven? No shit, really? I wasn't trying to be a doomer, but there was definitely a part of me that didn't think you were eating until one. Did Curio come in time for Thanksgiving? Sadly, no, Jono. Uh, I know, I know other people. I know other people got their Curio in time for Thanksgiving. Um, mine should get here tomorrow, and that's okay. My, mine was not something I needed to cook with. God dang it. Mine was not something I needed to cook with. Um, mine was a gift from Rusty Brazen Fire, who, who, who had hoped. Who had hoped we would have it by Thanksgiving um, in case I wanted to incorporate it into something, but it, it wasn't a big deal that we didn't. I am pretty excited, though. Uh, obviously, the, the Thanksgiving holiday... Damn, I was really hoping for health here. The Thanksgiving holiday, you know, has, has slowed down people doing and talking business in the gaming industry a little bit. But when last I left off, uh, good you know, popped in. I'm sure, like, I think Good and Justin were talking, and I know that Good came to me as well and said, Curio's really happy with how Minecraft went, uh, and they're thinking about potentially shacking up with some streamers, and obviously, you know, when they said, who, who do you think is, is foodie enough to carry a, a, a spice sponsorship, uh, Justin's name came up first from this last Minecraft session, and my name came up second. Uh, so I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm putting the deal in jeopardy by saying Goog came to me and said, what do you think we should a ask for? What should we do in this situation? And I said, Goog, let me introduce you to Noah. Meet my dear friend Noah. <laughs> Noah, make me happy. So I, like, I, I do know, like, I don't want to call Curio a mom and pop, uh, operation. I don't want to call Curio a mom and pop operation, but but compared to like Penzies or Sours or Lowry's or whatever, like it's a mom and pop operation. So I know much much like Sogo, I know we can't ask for the world, uh, but we can we can you know ask for enough stuff that we feel duly compensated, and then just kind of see where it goes from there. I do like I do know that I think Good was basically and and this listen I've done I've fallen into this trap before, I do think that Good was just gonna say like if you give me and Justin free spices, if you give me Taffy and just Justin free spices, we'll give you as much airtime as you want, and I was like ah you see I did this though I did this though Good, I did this with Sogo and you know who saved me, <laughs> Noah saved me from myself. I'm so glad you did that. I think I said the same thing. He, yeah, he's 100% just gonna say like, uh, hey, Sogo, just give us spices and we'll give you all the airtime in the world. And I was like, well, that's noble as a peach. And I don't even necessarily know that it's wrong. But, and hear me out, Good, what if money? <laughs> and he was kind of like, what do you mean, what if money? And I'm like, listen to me now. What if money? <laughs> And he was like, I mean, yeah, like, money's good. And I was like, isn't it, though? Isn't it, though? He was like, but how, how, do, how do money? And I was like, let me introduce you to my money, man. Noah, make it money. And he was like, okie dokie. So we'll see where it goes from there. Like, obviously, I don't want, like, I, I would be, I would be bummed out. 
I'd be bummed out if Noah. Like I don't think I don't think don't think don't I don't want to jinx this. I don't think Noah would screw this up. Um I don't think Noah would screw this up. Because I've I I, I know what Noah would ask for. He 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 made I'm gonna do this. He made um Sogo work for us. He made Sogo work for us. There we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. I mean, not exactly, but good enough. He managed not to scare off Dan. And Dan had the same... So, Justin, so Sogo was the exact... So he, he's he's done this before. Noah, Noah has done this before. The old Sogo playbook. I actually need to get rid of that heart now. There we go. Noah has done this before in that Sogo didn't really know anything about us. And then this audience did exactly what Minecraft did. Where all of a sudden, Dan just had a shitload of orders show up and didn't know why. And just showed up here and was like, uh, who, who are you and why is this happening? And I was like, hey, buying power on Twitch. And he was like, I'll sponsor you. And so, uh, the same things happened here where Curio's like, yeah, sure, I guess for a good cause. And then a whole bunch of foodie nerds playing video games went, we would like very much to buy your products exclusively. And they were like, how do we make this happen frequently? I very literally sent an email to Curio a year ago, pretty much saying I already advertised for you for free and will keep doing so, but please give me anything, just even if it's just add a boy. And then they gave me an add a boy, so hopefully they'll forget that. <clears throat> I did the exact same thing where I sent I sent Sogo an email. Like I, I had a day where I was like, you know what? I'm tired of not having a sponsor. I'm just gonna go send cold emails to a couple of companies that I really like. And at the time, I was super jazzed ab about discovering Sogo via Smashly. So I sent Dan a cold email and he never responded. <laughs> and then one day I was just sitting here blasting uh, how much I enjoyed the product. Uh, Rod, thank you so much for the, for the raid. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, one day I was just sitting here just waxing about how, how much I enjoyed Sogo. And then chat basically said something to the effect of like, let's just go buy a bunch. And then somebody else in chat said, hey, there's a comment section in the orders. Let's tell everybody, let's tell the owners where we heard about it. Maybe we can get this guy to sponsor Taffy. And this all of it happened in the same day. He agreed to sponsor me. Like he found, he heard about us, found me and sponsored me. All, all in the same like 12 hour period. Sergeant Zero, welcome. Rod, welcome. Hope your stream went well. Dudes spanking dudes. Sup, Taffy? How was Thanksgiving? I ate some leftover ham and pie. Uh, it was good. It was nerve wracking. Justin and I tested each individual piece of the new AV equipment that I have, which is three $400 cameras, a boom arm, two clamps, uh, the tripod I've used before, actually the, the same tripod's holding up this camera. Um, I'll just take this one out. I'm not going to use them, but yeah. I'll be a little more hesitant with this one. Um, we had tested all this equipment. We had tested all the cameras. We had done all this stuff individually. I had streamed IRL stuff from that laptop before. Uh, uh, class is starting soon. Uh, yo, Rod, go kill it. I hope it's interesting, and I hope you retain information, and I hope uh, you find it to be of value to you. Those are the best classes. I'm glad you didn't have jump scares enabled while cooking and prepping. I had, a, I had all the alerts coming through a Bluetooth speaker in the corner of the room. Eraser restraint, welcome back. So yeah, Justin and I had tested all, all of this new equipment, which J Justin liked it so much when we tested stuff individually that he bought three of these cameras. Um, and we had tested all of them individually. And it just bummed us out that when we tied all that stuff together, all of a sudden we found ourselves have, having problems. I don't know which room that's supposed to be. But, I mean, that's all that's all pretty nitpicky stuff because it, it really did come together in the end. At the very least, we had a very good time. 
Gotta go learn a lot about ellipti elliptical curves. I will say this, if you learn enough about geometry, I can't help but feel like you're gonna have a much more productive and uh, lucrative life than I have in the grand scheme of things. I've had a good couple of years, but they come 20 years into adulthood. I should have been earning grown-up wages this whole time if I could have just gotten myself interested in anything normal adults get interested in. I want to see if something other than OBS can take the NDI feed so you can kind of run, you know, run a different set of experiments. Run those same experiments, but run it on a different broadcasting software just to see if OBS was the bottleneck. Neat. Speed. Down. Go to pretend to work for a bit. When does Halo start? Halo will probably start around 1. 2 at the latest. Eastern time. One, 1 or 2 at the latest. Projective geometry? I mean, listen, I was proud of myself for knew knowing that it was geometry. This is the most I've thought about geometry since the early aughts. Having you in the background while playing Isaac? Hell yeah, Sergeant Zero. Happy to hear it. What about a... This is this is aimed at Justin, not at me. What about a Blackmagic ATEM for NDI cameras? Up and Atom! Up and at them! <clears throat> yeah, it was it was a little bit frustrating that everything worked individually and then when we when we stuck it all together, that's when we started to have problems. Up and at them! <laughs> it's, it's up and at them. Up and at them. Ah. If you guys can trust anything, trust that I'll come up with the greatest 1997 Simpsons references to start your day. Let's try this. Shit, I need more bombs. Oh, I will find you. Oh, you know what? I was I was uh, I was wondering about this. Hold on. I was wondering about this. Let's do this real quick. Maybe we'll get a bomb in here. Yet. Oh, I should have held on to a couple of bombs. Dead gum. Because our second secret room's on the end of that floor. I was like, man, what if both the secret rooms are in the same room? I haven't heard I haven't heard my my dog make a noise for a secret room in a hot minute. Should I look for the crawl chat? Crawl space or second secret room? Probably second secret room, right? The problem is I don't know where the crawl space is. God damn it. Well, I still have options. Hold on. I can still get another bomb. That's a real bummer. I got another crack at this. The problem is, is I, I I didn't do this in quadrants or halves. I did this in the middle, which means now I just have to get lucky. Found it. He barked when I was in here, didn't he? Am I insane? He's not barking anymore. Why is he not barking anymore? He barked when I came in here, didn't he? Was it maybe... Was it... Did it like glitch out? Was it like supposed to be under the pot? No, I've been like they 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 actually fixed it. They 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 here, we're just gonna do this. Uh they fixed it. They 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 made black markets be a thing again. I have been in a black market since they patched it. I, sometimes it identifies crawl spaces 
I don't think this is the the, the situation here, but sometimes they identify crawl spaces. <laughs> well, you have so much health, sure. Two two thirds of the way to conjoin feels pretty all right. Sometimes crawl spaces are identified as being underneath places where they can't possibly be, but that's usually like underwater spots or or something or poops. And then you blow them up and there's obviously nothing there. Oh, maybe they patched him out barking more than once? Maybe. Yeah, because I feel like he didn't howl when we went back in for the second secret room. Maybe enough people complained about it being annoying that they patched it out. No, there was no tented rock in there. I could go try for like a half price bomb or something. That's a hell of a long shot. Nah. All right, well. I mean, like, that that's kind of my take, Jade Stone, is it, it was super annoying when you didn't have the bombs for it. Because, you know, you'd find yourself going back and forth between rooms, and it's like, woo, woo, woo. Like, that, that would get tiresome, but I'd rather have it and have it do it than not. I know me, I'll forget. Oh, you guys can talk tech all this you want. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. Deep tech is fascinating to me. I like I like watching people concentrate on something I'm not smart enough to understand. Like I I don't like doing Sudoku, but I love watching people do Sudoku. It's like visual ASMR. And I know that that doesn't make sense. Like that acronym doesn't make sense when it's applied to sight. But I'm saying like it has the same effect on me. It has the same effect. I'm mesmerized watching people concentrate and do stuff that I don't want to do. Or do, th or especially just do things that I don't understand. I could very easily learn how to do Sudoku, I'm sure. But I'm just saying, like, I don't enjoy doing it. I don't enjoy doing it, but I love watching people concentrate. I get mesmerized like a flipped over shark. So when you guys are sitting here talking about tech, and especially tech that I don't understand, I just kind of want to stare. I just want to stare and get mildly sleepy. Yeah, Parexis, that would be kind of cool. Like, I understand that you're, you, you know, at that point you open up kind of a Pandora's box of just, like, all these different, you know, interfaces and stuff that you want to have happen, but... Oh, nine lives would be cool. You bitch. You bitch! And you didn't even give me the... I mean, I guess, like, I traded two hearts for a bomb. Which is okay. And you didn't even give me nine lives. Why? Thanks. Por que, Maria? Ugh. What a bummer. Ooh, are we feeling very left-handy today? I guess it'll all depend on whether or not we actually get the left hand. I have no idea if I'm feeling left-handy today. I feel like we went, we've went. we gone really hard into left hand runs recently. But there's so many more guppy items, I feel like it's worth it. Think you're more of a flipped over chicken than a shark just saying? I don't know what happens when you flip chickens over. Let me tell you about what I do at work then, Taffy. Honestly, if it involves like drawing up blueprints or schematics, if it involves like long hours of quietly working on AutoCAD, I would literally just sit three feet behind you on a stool and watch. But yeah, Prexus, I can totally understand, like, once it gets to a place where it feels like everyone wants a toggle for their least favorite item that procs every time, you know, every time you walk in a room or every time you're near something. I didn't even see that guy. Um... Then all of a sudden now you're talking about potentially having like a user settings page that's 30 pages long. It's a, it would be a bit of a slippery slope, I'm sure, but I don't know. I'd rather have it do it than not. Because now, now there's a part of me that just feels like it's broken, you know? Okay. I'm getting tired of getting my ass beat here. It's easier to get your ass beat nowadays. Because enemies telefrag you while you're trying to make your escape from being uh, pursued by enemies. I'm looking at you there, guy.
I design assembly lines for Tesla drive units, I would fucking die. And in a good way. I would lose so much time watching you work. Especially, yeah, especially if it's like li littered with, uh... See, it still does it for this. I genuinely think that the crawl space was glitched out, that it was supposed to be there. I genuinely feel like the crawl space was glitched out, that it was supposed to be there, but something... Something kept it from actually appearing when we bombed out the space. Like, maybe it was supposed to be under the bomb rock. And it can't be under a bomb rock or something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, if you've got, like, plans that are littered with, like, uh... So like symbols and iconography and and um, like measurements and numbers that I wouldn't understand as a layman just looking at it. Mesmerized. Mesmerized. I think the first time I ever saw that happen was when Sudoku and logic puzzles came into being. And I want to say it was my sister who would do them in the car. If not, it was uh, uh, at some point, I don't know, in college or something, I had a friend that was doing them. And I just, oh, I just thought that was the coolest thing. Could sit and stare for hours. Yo, just talking about you earlier, dude. Just talking about you earlier. McQueen comes in with a rating party of 169. Nice. Sacro, welcome. J4TA, welcome. Ordinary, welcome. Disturbed Emu, pleasure to have you here. My name's Taffy. I'm what McQueen's gonna turn into if he gets to stream for seven years. <laughs> I'm a very nice guy who's had a very rough month of streaming and has been at this for a very long time. I bring I bring the love on this almost Thanksgiving. This Thanksgiving, I don't know what's the day after like the day before a holiday is Eve. Is there a word for the day after a holiday? I refuse to acknowledge Black Friday. What a bullshit corporate nightmare. I will do no shopping today unless it's online. I'm not gonna indulge in this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna indulge in this capitalist hellscape idea of Black Friday. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked. Box giving? Yeah, the day after a holiday is simply referred to as day. Go back to work day. Happy go back to work day, laborers. <laughs> happy, happy get your ass back to work day, says the boss. Box giving. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. McQueeb, I hope you had a I hope you had a tremendous Thanksgiving. I hope it went well. I hope it was less stressful than mine. Although mine mine ended up being very rewarding, but man, it was Kind of a lot. Yeah, Sacro, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, you know, listen, before the pandemic, there was a part of me as somebody who, I, like, I waited tables for 10 years. As somebody who was expected to work on Thanksgiving, as somebody who was expected to work on Christmas, as somebody who was <clears throat> expected to work, obviously, on Valentine's Day, uh, I hated that. You know what I mean? Like, I just... I hate, okay, here's the thing that would drive me absolutely bonkers, is like, anybody who's been in retail and anybody who's been in restaurant work can, ab uh, if you can't relate to this, then then you must have only ever been part-time, you, you dilettante you, but anybody who ever worked in retail and anyone who ever worked in restaurants, um, do you ever get this? I, I gotta turn off the music, I can't have, I can't have happy upbeat music while I do this bit. Oh, hey, happy Thanksgiving. Hi, <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness, it's so, uh, it's, it's, uh, I, I can't tell you, everything's closed today. Everything's closed today, and so I'm just, whew, I'm just, I'm just so happy that you guys are open. Oh, anyway, I've gotta get this, and I've gotta get that, and I've gotta get this, or I've gotta eat that, and then I gotta get home to my family. I've got this whole family evening planned. Do you have anything going on with your family? Oh, oh, 
Yeah, you know, it's a real shame. It's a real shame. They should let you go home and be with your family. How late are you open in case I need to be back? Will you be here until 10 o'clock? Because if I need to do an exchange, I just want to find you. I don't want to deal with someone new. They should really let you be home with your family. It's it's a sh ah. I just, I wish they would take you into consideration. Uh, we'll start with a bottle of Cote Rome. Uh, and then we'll also have, uh, do you guys have, uh, do you guys have uh, calamari? We'll start with calamari. Uh, f f free bread's coming out, right? Right? Do you have plans? I already asked you this. I already asked, I'm so silly. I already asked you if you had plans with your family. And clearly you don't, and it's a shame. It's a shame. I also will like a water with a lemon wedge. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not going to indulge in this bullshit. <laughs> now that I'm free, I'm not going to be the reason some poor bastard has to work on Thanksgiving or the day after. Oh shit, Jason, man, I have no idea. I was a very terrible Christian. Today is Thanksgiving shame, the day where we all pretend to eat, uh, that we ate like reasonable people yesterday. In all honesty, I didn't eat all that bad because I only had the one meal. Good food, got the stretch, uh, got the streak back up to a respectable two. Very nice, very nice. Link day, good morning. All good? No, I'm mentally kind of a wreck. But I promised the people who helped me open stream today, I was, I was late. I'm tired. Ugh. I promised the people who helped me open up stream today that if they let me bellyache for like 10 minutes at the top of the stream that I would be happy the rest of the stream, <laughs> but I, I am very rough. It has been quite the, quite the November and I am, I am pretty over it and I'm legging it out to Tuesday. Your Karen voice is on point. Oh, I, at one point I dared, I dared a Karen to get me fired. Like, she complained about her food and did it in the shittiest way possible. And I just kind of went, okay. And she was like, so what are you going to do about it? And I was like, I was going <laughs> to... I didn't say this, but I said, let me go see what I can do. And I literally just walked into the back of the restaurant. It was late. It was late. We kept the restaurant open for an extra 90 minutes because this lady came in 10 minutes to close when the kitchen was broken down and asked us to serve them like a three-course meal uh, at like 11 o'clock at night. And then complained about the quality of the food, and she was like, what are you going to do to fix it? And I was like, all right, hold on one second, ma'am. And then I just walked away. And I hid in the back of the restaurant, hoping that she would just get fed up and leave, because she was paid. I just wanted her to go away, but she didn't go away, and it really bummed me out. Because then when I came back, she was mad because I'd made her wait for forever. And she was just like... Did you talk to the manager? Can I talk to the manager? And I was like, I talked to the manager. He's real bummed out that you're bummed out. And she was like, so what are you gonna do about it? And I was like, I, I told you, I told Andrew. I told Andrew how upset you were. And he, man, like he's not inconsolable because clearly like he didn't come out here. I hadn't talked to Andrew. I didn't want to bug Andrew. I don't want to make my problems Andrew's problems, but yeah, he's super, super, uh, so anyway, have a good night. But then instead of leaving, she just got like, Kamehameha pissed. And like tried to push her way through the kitchen to go find Andrew. And I was like, I'll fucking go get Andrew. That was one of the last tables that I dealt with before I stopped waiting tables a decade ago. Next year, chat. Next year... Let me see if I can look up here for a second. August 18th, 2022 will mark 10 years since the last time I held a job where somebody else was my boss. It'll be a, 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 dec a decade of maddening anxiety and insecurity, but also uh, freedom from the tyranny of having the value of my life dictated to me by other people. Ha having a, a literal value placed on my time by, let's face it, pretty much strangers. And having everything from my schedule to my worth be dictated to me by people who, with a gun to their head, couldn't tell you my middle name. 
From the five minutes of reset. Oh, shit. Yeah, Dark Knight Magic, that's what I'm saying, is I think it might have been under the pot or under the bomb rock. I think that that crawl space didn't appear because it was technically underneath a place where you couldn't have a crawl space. I was a bus boy on Thanksgiving. I waited tables one Thanksgiving where I didn't even get I didn't even get a restroom break for 14 hours. I made 750 bucks that day, but man, I was I was miserable by the end of it. Yeah, worked holiday re and retail from uh, worked every holiday in retail for my first year. Family time, what's that? I used to get so mad. I used to get so mad when people would be like, "Oh, you should spend more time with your family." I don't want to say that I got these familiars just to sacrifice them, but Boop. oh god, and this familiar is so much better. Uh, I might as well do this. As I say, two of these rocks don't even get us to that red chest. Oh shit! I probably shouldn't take my hands off the control. Why? Why did I? Why did I ca catch a bullet with my teeth? And now you have a team of random people around the world that dictate your life. I, I mean, like a little bit, kinda. I I have a I have a think tank. I have a think tank of hundreds uh, of, I have a think tank of thousands of international uh, supporters who basically try to help me come up with, who basically try to help me come up with better ideas to, to extract value from my working day. And I am free to accept or reject any ideas as I see fit. Yeah, that's right, your middle name is McLaffy Tappy, right? Bro Squatch, good morning. How was my Thanksgiving? It was good, honestly. It was scary. It was very scary. Uh, but ultimately, once we got the bugs ironed out, uh, my in-laws, for the first time, kind of got to watch me work in a setting where I didn't do something stupid like mention clown porn. <clears throat> I want to say that my in-laws snuck into my stream one time and didn't tell me they were going to do it. And then were flabbergasted. When, when, when everything I said was a little blue and they were like, yeah, we, we don't ever need to come here again. Thank you for taking care of our daughter in whatever weird ass, uh, whatever weird ass way you're choosing to do it. We appreciate you, but we'll never visit here again. But in a, you know, in, in a Thanksgiving setting where we were literally out in the middle of the kitchen the entire time and my kids were around. I think Justin only let two F-bombs slip the entire time that he was helping. Um, and I, I was surprisingly good. And so they got to see us at basically streaming's most wholesome. And then they actually got to hear the alerts go off and they got to see me interact with chat and they got to hear Justin talk to chat and they, they kind of got a better idea of how this whole thing works. My, uh, my... My mother-in-law couldn't help but document it. She was taking photographs all day and sending it to my brothers and sisters-in-law. Oh my. I need to find... I was say, I need to find money on this floor. That is a tears upgrade sitting in there. No, don't go off right now. Alarm, I need... Hey! What a time for a break. Oh, I want the functionality of my body back. I want my brain not to be foggy from just the fatigue and the long hours. Even Justin was saying that after after Minecraft, that he's had a hard time with, and don't make it weird, you know what I'm saying here, chat, but he's had a hard time with stamina when it comes to streaming ever since we've gotten back from Kentucky. Um, yeah, like streamer stamina has been an issue. Oh, you little rat bastard. Like, stamina's been an issue. Like, getting a good night's sleep's been an issue. And then just everything since the since the surgery. The sur Again, I, I, like, if you're somebody who's thinking about getting one, please don't be afraid of it. it it's all in incredibly manageable. It's just, it, for, me, for me, the timing was inopportune. But I also didn't want to reschedule it, because the last time I chose to reschedule my vasectomy, I waited seven years. This is literally the story of my life, Taffy. I'm so tired of being tired. Yeah, why are there just so many days?
Yeah, uh, Justin says, I can't crank out 12 hour days like I could a few months ago. I, like, uh, honestly, like, I'm not saying, like, we need a full blown vacation. But I definitely feel like, Justin, if I were to take, like, a three day weekend, I could finally get myself back in a, a place where I feel functional. I just want to feel functional. That's it. That's all I want. I just want to feel capable of doing what I was able to do, like, three or four weeks ago. Which is literally, like, anything. Uh, right. So, Karen powers for good. My mom exercises her Karen powers for good and not evil. I'll give you a couple of examples. One was that when we were kids, she used to, like, we lived in a very small town. We lived in a town called Jerome, Idaho. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. That at the time that I lived there was population 7,000. It had one traffic light in town. It had one grocery store uh, that was owned by a local family because the other grocery store that was in town that was also owned by a local family went out of business because it wasn't a big enough town to support two grocery stores. Um, I don't want to deal with that room. Not like this. Um, so, if we wanted pizza... It was a take-and-bake pizza from the grocery store, or it was Pizza Hut. If we wanted not grocery store pizza or Pizza Hut, we had to drive 13 miles to a place called Twin Falls and go to... At that, at that point, Twin Falls was like 63,000 people. They had most, you know, m most available regional fast food and, and chain restaurants. So my mom would go to Twin Falls sometimes to get Little Caesars back when they had a menu, back when they would like make stuff to order. Uh, Little Caesars used to be kind of dope. Like it's really good for what it is now. I, I don't mind it for for fast and easy, base, basically frozen pizza that's already warmed up for me that they charge about that much for. Um, I'm not, yeah, I'm not bagging on what Little Caesars has become, but it was pretty great back back in its heyday. It was pretty great, uh, back when they actually, yeah, back when, they, when it was a, motherfucker, I couldn't see him. Back when it was actually a little sit-down restaurant, or not a sit-down restaurant, but a two-order restaurant. Um, Candlelot, tier one, month one, thank you for the brand new sub. We don't get those very often here because, uh, gifties abound in this area. So usually people are co-opted here whether they want to, whether they want to or not, people kind of get co-opted around here. So thank you for the month one tier one, very much appreciate it. So my mom used to go to Little Caesars, but she'd have to call in the order and then she'd have to drive 13 miles to get there. And inevitably, like she didn't do anything crazy, right? Like this wasn't a setup, it wasn't a scam. But you know, she wanted things the way she wanted things because she was, she was spending you know, what what Little Caesars cost today is what she was spending in gas to get there and back. It was 20, it was 20 minute drive each direction. Like, the, the pizza never got back to us hot, but we'd just do it once in a while so that we'd have something, like, the flavor of something different. Just a different kind of pizza. If she had to go run errands in Twin Falls, she'd call in the order and say, I want to pick it up at 6.30. Uh, so please make it then, because we're talking this is back during the time of land, uh, land lines. She'd go about her day, she'd go get the pizzas, and inevitably, I don't know why, this one particular Little Caesars just always fucked things up. They just always fucked things up. It was never malevolent, it wasn't, uh, there's just kids making pizza, and, you know, everybody had a, had a say, so it was like, it was never crazy, it wasn't a scam, but it was... We want a Supreme, we want this half without olives. Uh, we want a Hawaiian pizza, but we want this half to have banana peppers. Like, they, we had very specific asks. <clears throat> Alright, I wanna go up here. I'm trying to figure out how to do this well without, like, w while still holding a conversation with you guys. I was actually trying to, like, hatchet my way back so I could cut this room out entirely. It's not that it's, like, the worst thing ever, but I could see myself messing it up. So, inevitably, it felt like Little Caesars would always mess this up, and, and she she wouldn't make people's lives hell, but she would ask that they fixed what was wrong. And so they'd say, hey, this was supposed to, you know, only be half olives. And they'd say, oh, 
crap. And you live in Jerome? It's like, yeah, it's like a very long drive. And I'd say, okay, well, uh, ma'am, we can make it again, but it's going to take 20 minutes, or we can take take the price off of, like, you know, offer you a discount on the wrong pizza. And she'd say, you know what, I'll wait for it, if, if that's okay, I'd, I'd just like to have it the way that I ordered it. And, and they're like, okay, ma'am, if you don't mind, you know, sitting down there, we'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and pull it together. And as she was sitting there, almost every shift that this happened, which was almost every shift we got pizza there, she'd say, what's going to happen to the one that has olives all over it? And they'd say, well, you know, we can't, like, sell it to somebody denizen. else, so we'll probably okay. just throw it away, or the staff will munch on it, or whatever. And she'd say, I'd, I'll buy the screw-up pizza off you for a dollar. That way you at least make a dollar. I mean, you can pocket the dollar if you want, but I'll buy the screw-up pizza off you for a dollar or two. And they'd say, you know, they'd say, oh, I'm sure they just, I'm sure they just palmed it like a tip. But it didn't matter because they literally were just going to throw it away. So my mom would always end up coming back from this Little Caesars with nobody mad at her. But she'd come back from this Little Caesars having ordered two pizzas and sometimes she was carrying four large pizzas when she walked through the, through the door. And so that, in my mind, is Karen Powers for good. She turned up, uh, you know, she, she took a negative situation and turned it into a positive situation where we uh, benefited a ton and nobody was mad at her for gaming the system. What are you? Retrovision. Uh, Slayer Falcon, tier 1, 31 months. So far just for edible pizza? Oh, Candelot, please. <laughs> go, go get a motel room in Jerome, Idaho these days. It has three traffic lights now and a Walmart. Go, 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 go get a hotel room in Jerome, Idaho. And, and stay there for like a month? And tell me that you, like, you aren't inventing reasons. I drove 30 miles one time for Taco Bell just to be alone in the car so I could not be in Jerome, Idaho for a night. J Jerome was, uh, pretty miserable when I lived there, and I do not believe it's gotten any more prosperous since I've been gone. Ugh. Horf? Well, we're out of options here, so I'll... Take this, and take this, and be on my merry way. Yeah, sometimes sometimes the most exciting thing that you could do in that town was invent a reason to go get mediocre pizza just to get out of that town. To be fair, Pizza Hut was the same. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I was a kid in the 90s. I was a kid in the 80s and 90s, so, like, I got a, I got a soft spot in my heart for those Pizza Hut personal pan pizzas. Especially when you got them for reading. I hear they still do that program. I still got a soft spot in my heart for going and playing video games at Pizza Hut. Playing pinball at Pizza Hut while I waited for my personal pan pizza. I haven't been to a Pizza Hut, I don't think, since like Ot 1. Slayer Falcon again, thank you so much. I've been held hostage as a sub for three months via gifts. I'm blinking twice for help. Just kidding, I love the stream and I'm grateful for the gifts. I, I, I am grateful that my viewers make people who are new to this channel feel so welcome. Uh, it wasn't always that way here. And we have kind of long since sort of like removed all the people who might complicate matters for us. Uh, but that's a process that took years and was very scary. Because if you're, you know, if you're a streamer who's trying to make a go at doing this full time, which I was doing years and years ago, um, it's hard to kick people out when you desperately need viewers. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. It, it's tough to feel, it's tough to feel like you're making the right decision when the right decision feels like it should be, I should be trying to grow as fast as humanly possible. And then in the same breath you go, hey, you, you, you and you have to get out of here and don't come back. So, I'm, I'm happy that it's shaped up for us. <clears throat> Sad thing is that most places would, now would tell someone no, because if they don't throw it away, they get fired for giving away food. Yeah. Yeah. S simpler times. 
Were there any local, uh, horrid local ads, uh, taglines, it's time to call Jerome, you home, visit Jerome, Idaho today? No. No, no, nobody was intent, like, I don't know that anybody was ever intentionally trying to get anyone to, to live in this place. I remember seeing what I think was the first ever apartment complex I'd ever seen in Jerome go up, and it was disorienting. It was the kind of thing that felt like it should go up in a place where people wanted to live. And so to see an, like to see a modern apartment complex be built in this town that was mostly filled with migrant workers, dairymen, and ranchers uh, was very bizarre. Like my buddy lived in a in an apartment that was akin to what I would see at like near a university, but the entire town smelled like cow shit because it was surrounded by dairies. So no matter which way the wind blew, it was blowing in the smell of dairies. Pizza was my favorite local video chain, uh, sorry, video, uh, my favorite local pizza chain, followed by Papa John's, or, sorry, not, not local. Pizza, I'm very tired. I'm trying so hard. I will, I will make it, and we'll be okay, but I'm gonna apparently not read chat well for the next couple days. Pizza Hut's my favorite pizza chain, followed by Papa John's. I, mm, I haven't had Pizza Hut in a while. I, I feel like I should try them again to give them a fair shake. I've been, I've been going ham on Domino's. Mostly because it's just one of the only easy ones we have to get to. I got real burnt out on Papa John's. My my wife used to order it kind of as our default national pizza chain. I mean, like, Papa John being a garbage person aside, I just got burnt out on sort of how... I don't know. I feel like the pizza tastes very... Uh, unimpressive. It's very uninspired pizza to me. Hey, there's step one. Step one, you put your cat in a box. Step two, you make him open the box. Daniel's World Prime Gaming, 57 months. That's a long-ass time. Daniel's World, thank you for a long-ass time of support. Packet Greaser, who grew up with me as a teenager in Jerome, says, one of the worst things about Jerome that I didn't understand as a kid and teen, but infuriates me now is the migrant camps outside of town. No human should have to live in that. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, like, there was... Here, here's the thing about Jerome. Uh, the local labor force was propped up by illegal immigrants. They were the kind of people who would aggressively vote for immigration reform to keep illegals out, but then would have hordes of illegal immigrants working in their fields uh, to move irrigation pipe and harvest crops because they were super cheap and they could pay them under the table. So the, living in this tiny cow town in Idaho made me understand, like when I got to college, you know, we, we got into like civ classes and people would talk about like the Indian, cla uh, the Indian caste system. And some people really seem to be struggling with just sort of overtly putting people into buckets like that. Uh, but not me, not, not me and not packet greaser. We lived in a place where even at the high school, like we, in the high school, you know, our graduating high school class was like 190 people. It was not, it was not big. Uh, but, but like even in that 190 person graduating class, high school, uh, entire high school has like 800 people in it. There was like 700 white Christian kids. And then there was like 100 migrant kids. And even though we were all in the same building, it was like two completely different school days. It was like having a separate school inside our school. <clears throat> like I can mentally, I can mentally picture the faces of a lot of the, the sons and daughters of migrant workers that I became friends with. I know their names and faces off the top of my head, but those are the ones I became friends with. And there were dozens and dozens and dozens more that like I saw them in my school, but I never once had a conversation with them. I bought Repens last night and stayed up till 3 playing it. I work at 5 and woke up at 4. Worth it. Ollie Queen, I'm glad you're having a good time. I enjoy, uh... At its best, this is my favorite video game ever made. At its worst, it makes me wish I had learned to trade. Fortunately, it's not like that very often. Ooh, that's scary. That's like a one-way ticket right there. I'm trying to find the like super duper secret room on this floor. 
Yeah, it's Papa Shacks now. I used to work at Pizza Hut. The most horrifying thing uh, was that their buffalo sauce is, uh, was not the classic hot sauce plus butter. It was hot sauce plus corn syrup. Ah. I'm from New England, but it sounds the same. 127 was my graduating class, six towns combined. Justin says, my high school was massive, no middle school, 7th through 12th grade, all, all in one place, and it looked like a prison. Skipping stone sides. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm digging on it. I, I, I'm I adamant that I want to find... Um, okay, I'm up here now. I'm adamant that I want to find... Uh, I don't want either one of those things. I'll do this just so it shows up, but I ain't picking it up. Ooh, curiouser and curiouser. Really, though, like, I want soul hearts. I really don't want uh, the angel deal, if I'm being honest. Whew, I don't like that at all. I need to go kind of min-max the rest of the floor. You remember me telling you about working the double shift while I got the two $100 Amazon gift cards? I, hell yeah. Honestly, like, um, you know, we, we've been talking a little bit today about, like, hey, why don't we stop exploiting workers? Just a thought. But if you're somebody who, you know, doesn't mind putting in the hours and needs the money and, you know, if you're not touchy about holidays, then I'm absolutely all for you going out and putting in a couple of extra shifts and getting getting some cash to help yourself out for sure oh god damn it well i found the thing and it's gonna be proptosis which is super duper worth it Ugh. come on dumpy i just don't want to have to control the other one all right let's get out of here I just, I just want to, like, I'm super happy to have gone and gotten Proptosis, and I'll get some, I'll get some charges real quick. But, oh, God, I thought this room was done. I'll get some charges real quick, but we're going to go ahead and dip on out. Yeah, Zuberi, good for you. I, I'd, I, I can tell you what, I've sold my time for Amazon gift cards before, even, even as a Twitch streamer. Every once in a blue moon, something comes up where they're like, hey... What's your time worth? And I'm like, what's it to you? And they're like, take this, uh, take this, uh, survey. I'm like, I don't want to take a survey. And they're like, don't care. I'm like, I don't want to take a survey. And they're like, hundred bucks. And I'm like, all right, I'll take a survey. They're like, it's going to be 20 minutes. And I'm like, I'll, I'll take a hundred dollar gift card for an hour or for, a, you know, 20 minutes. I'll even answer as best I know how. How about that? I'll even give you earnest answers. I won't even just go, you know, fill in C on all the multiple choice picks. I grew up near Buffalo. That offends me deeply. Hey, Tavi, I hope you got some sleep last night. You seemed gassed yesterday. No, Toto, I feel like shit today. But I prom I promised, if I say that, I promised earlier that I would say it with a smile on my face. I feel like shit. <laughs> but I'm gonna, but we're gonna get there. Tuesday's just around the corner. I fell asleep sitting up in a chair with a glass of wine in my hand yesterday. That's about how my day went. No red stew. I could have grabbed it, but it's going to wear off before it makes a real tangible difference. I probably should have grabbed it. I forgot about it. It goes away over time, so it's like, pretend I grabbed it, but it's just 10 minutes from now. <clears throat> the weirdest thing about going to a huge school was the idea of meeting new people in my grade up until I graduated. I still only recognized about half of them at commencement. That's bananas to me. I had kissed like a third of the people I went to school with by the time we graduated. Aaron, good morning. Yeah, exactly, Sergeant. That's how I feel. It's like, ultimately, I hated Valentine's Day. Like, I didn't, I, I, like, my wife and I don't celebrate it. So, like, I didn't mind getting paid or being away from my wife on Valentine's Day. I just, I just hated waiting on couples. You know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I hated that there was never a table bigger than two persons at the restaurant. Because everyone was on a date, which just meant that it was that much more work. But I didn't hate that I was away from my wife on Valentine's Day. Christmas was like a different thing, because my wife loves Christmas. I was genuinely bummed out on a lot of Halloweens I was forced to work. But most holidays are just like, you know, keeping 
greeting card companies and chocolate companies in business, so I don't give a shit about that. I told my guys, let's see, I told my guys they were striking this week. I don't get to do much for them, but I sure as hell give them the time, the time off when they need. That does not surprise me about you. I wasn't social in my school at all. All my friends were via the music scene, so I think I knew like two people in my high school. Aaron, what's going on, homie? Yeah, Sinister Humanoid, that was one of those things where like, I wasn't paying attention at all. Like, I, I, there have been a couple of instances where it's like, hey, do this survey, and I'm like, no. And then they're like, do this survey, big gift card, and I'm like, all right, I'll do the survey. Yeah, that's right, I was related to the other two thirds. God, Chad, it, it does get so much worse. This little tiny cow town that I lived in. The entire city of Jerome had like a nine page phone book. The entire city of Jerome had like a nine page phone book. My last name took up one of the pages, basically. If you factor in like the fact that there was like an entire column of my last name, and then on top of that, you had to factor in married name changes, like the Glassets and the Bartholomews and the Callens, who are all also loosely related to me in some way, shape, or form. You know, were, were people who were actually related to me had married into or out of the family. A girl I had a crush on for a very long time was actually marriage related to me, as it turned out. Fortunately, she was so manipulative that it never went anywhere. Yeah, that's, uh, m most people, m most people are forced in Jerome. Most people are forced to wait until they, uh, get the hell out of Jerome. So that they can start hooking up with people. Other otherwise, yeah, you run the chance of having, uh, you know, you, you you run the chance of having like a, a child with webbed feet or something. You run the chance of having a child who acts like British royalty. I went to a small private uh, school in the country. Graduating class was thirty, give or take. Hated it. I don't know how I'd feel about that. I just like I there was a part of me that like, at the very least, because I'm hearing some of you say like, oh, I went to a place that had a graduating class of thirty, or I went to a place that had a graduating class of a hundred. I will say that there were enough people at my school that if I just was kind of very over a very certain person or group of people, there were still enough people around that I could kind of start over again. You know what I mean? Like, th there were enough people around that I, I could just kind of go, you know what, I'm just going to go fucking hang out with somebody else today. And there were more people to pick. Like, there, there were jocks and there were goth kids and there were uh, punks and there, like, there were enough people to have groups. I'd be like, ah, fuck this. I'm going to hang out with the punks today. The jocks are pissing me off. Or I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of over all these, like, moody fuckers. I'm going to go hang out with the academic kids. I'm going to go hang out with the smart kids today because they are very low maintenance. The only day I didn't work for 22 years was Christmas Day. Not uh, the that the cinema didn't try to push it every year. My sister, one of the first jobs that she ever had was working at the Jerome Cinema when they had a cinema. Because apparently Jerome's on Jerome's on such a financial boom right now that they closed their only cinema. So now you have to drive 13 miles to see a movie. But yeah, my sister's first gig was slinging popcorn at the Jerome Cinema 4. I remember her working on Christmas, you know, for several years in a row. Shots beat Shots down. Neat. Luck up. Luck. And long ago, somebody left with the cup. Oh, you're not, uh, you're not the shop. You're an imposter. Lisa! Morning, Taffy. Morning, chat. Been out of town all week. Finally home. There's nothing like sleeping in your own bed after a week in a crummy hotel. Congrats on getting the counter under the 24-hour mark today. Yeah, I guess we will. I guess we will. The math works out that if I do... The math works out that if I do nine hours today, nine hours tomorrow, I can still take tomorrow... Or, or, sorry, Sunday off. And have my first full day off in the entire month of November. Um, 
and then do a regular seven hour Monday, seven hour Tuesday. And I should get my I should get my my pinky across the finish line. Um Tuesday Tuesday around lunchtime. We sat and mathed it out in Discord the other day. Spunky McFun Pants, welcome. Found out the other day that Unicorn Stump is okay uh, amount of uh, damage and so hard some Bethany can wreck face. Yeah! Yeah, invincibility with Bethany, you can just buzzsaw everything. That's why I love mentoring the high school robotics team. Ap academic kids are super chill. One of my favorite memories, uh, uh, Eraser, one of my favorite memories was getting assigned to the, the school's senior, uh, the school's senior mock court. Uh, project. I never really thought, man, I'd like to be a lawyer. Uh, but for whatever reason, there was a part of me that like desperately wanted to be a part of that of that project. I, I really badly wanted to be involved. It was like getting oh, okay. It was like getting cast in like a school play. I, I don't know why. I just really badly wanted to be a part of it. <clears throat> um, I probably should have played him out for health. Motherfucker, Taffy, stop taking damage. I have no idea how much. Ooh, I've got more soul hearts now. Baby! Um. Anyway, I got put, uh. I got put on a. De the, the, the defense team for this mock trial. And the, the co counselors. Uh, the co-counselors that I had for this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the left hand, but I'll drop it before I get into the chest. The co-counselors I had for this thing was the literal smartest dude in the in the school that the last I heard, I think he was at a think tank at Johns Hopkins. And a girl named Ashley who was incredibly smart, whose father was an actual lawyer. And we took it like the kind of seriously that you would have thought somebody was actually on trial. And I loved that level of dedication. Like, if you're gonna go, go all in. So I loved that it was that level of dedicated. And I loved how much work we put into it. And it was all super mellow. Like, you'd have never thought in a million years that we were working on, a, on, on an incredibly stressful situation where you as a teenager are gonna be getting up in front of your peers and pretend to be a lawyer and have like an entire senior class come and sit and watch you like it's a school play. And depending on how hard you studied, uh, you'll either come off looking kind of like smart, maybe even cool if you're lucky, or you'll look like a you know slack ass incompetent shithead if you're not. And fortunately for me, I was I was in the group of people that uh, took it incredibly seriously, and I even accidentally had kind of a moment where I came off looking a little bit cooler than I meant to. I was accidentally cool and it was awesome. Yeah, that was one of my favorite memories from that entire from that entire year at school. Was pretending to be a lawyer with the other smart kids in school and uh actually trying my best uh with a couple of days training to 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 represent somebody in a court of law. Well, a couple of weeks training. We we practiced on weekends for months. We went to we went to Ashley's dad's place and sat down with him and actually worked with him like we were like paralegals or like we were bullpen lawyers and he would walk us through everything and frankly it showed. Conjoin's really really good here too by the way. I, I I feel like I should probably talk about the run but the run's over. We win. We win in a big way. We are going to kick the shit out of the end of this run. Accidentally cool would make a great band name. I think it would. I forget what this one does. Isaac's tomb, buried memories. I forget what that does. Yeah, I actually had a moment where I felt very pleased with myself, but it was it was the the accidentally cool part. I got an, I got a laughter and applause break at one point. You you don't learn all of the like the procedural elements of a courtroom just by talking about it with somebody for a little while. 
So like, I was fortunate enough that like, Ashley's dad taught me when you could object, when you couldn't object, when you could lead the witness, when you couldn't lead the witness. Um, so I at least understood the, the, the function of it because it was run by a real judge. Like it was run by a real judge. Uh, the court staff were all the same. It's just the lawyers and the defendants were all uh, students from the school. So at one point, my buddy, he like he and I actually got into a pretty big fight because I, I basically told him I didn't want to be on, I, like I didn't want to, he wanted to do it and he wanted to work together, but I knew that he would procrastinate and do it at the last second and I didn't want to work that way. So I told my teacher that, I was like, listen, no offense to my buddy, but I really don't want to do this with him. Could you put me on the team that is going to like try? Um, and he was like, yeah, sure, of course. But then he went and told my friend that I requested not to be on his team, which was hurtful, especially in high school. You don't deal well with, reject with rejection in high school of all times. Um, so he actually came and like yelled at me in front of everybody in front of like the office. Like we were standing out in the, I forget how this works. I might actually want to look that up in a second. Yeah, he actually came and like chewed me out in front of everybody but it came to pass and I feel kind of feel like an asshole pointing this out but it came to pass that like he didn't necessarily always know what he could and couldn't do because he hadn't really done any of the research uh and at one point man he was just going through this incredibly like laborious cross like well he was going through like this incredibly laborious cross examination uh and I, I wasn't 100% sure whether or not I could stop him, you know? Like, I, 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 I was bored to tears. And I was tired because we've been working long hours trying to do all the all the homework for this. But at one point, he just kept, like, repeating and repeating and repeating himself. And I didn't realize that as a lawyer, you can just kind of object and just kind of state your mind. You, you can just be like, objection. Fuck this. This is so boring. But you have to, like, phrase it better than that. But you can... That's in your heart and in the judge's heart. You both know that that's what you mean. You can... I, I learned later that lawyers are just people. And you can literally be like, Objection, your honor. This shit sucks. Can we do anything else? And if you just phrase it more adult than that, the judge can be like, Yeah, this blows. <laughs> let's, let's talk about anything else. I didn't realize that, and I was really tired. So during this like very laborious line of questioning that just circled back on itself over and over and over again, I legitimately fell asleep. I legitimately was sitting there as the defense watching the prosecutor just go for like 10 minutes at like after like three o'clock in the afternoon, everyone's tired. It's far enough away from lunch that everyone's like sagging. And I just kind of did this. I didn't like snore or anything, but it did. I, I closed my eyes. I closed my eyes and, and was just out for a second. And the next thing I heard was, uh, counselor, Mr. Caps, your witness, and I just, like, my brain was like, you have to talk, you have to talk right now. You're supposed to be talking right now. So I just said what was in my head. And I said, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I must have dozed off there for a second. But what I didn't realize is that everyone else was as mind-numbingly bored as I was. And it came off as, I'm sorry, Your Honor. The defense, or the prosecution's line of questioning was so bad, I fell asleep. And everyone laughed and clapped. And my friend Trevor got so pissed at me. He got ridiculous. Like, he, he worked it into his closing arguments. They're trying so hard to give me this. He worked that shit into his closing arguments. He literally said in his closing arguments, Your Honor, you know, we only have a couple of things to say. We'll be brief because we wouldn't want the defense to nod off again. But like that was like the one fun, the, the like the one accidentally cool moment that I had where <laughs> I got an applause break during a, a mock trial <laughs> because I accidentally slammed my buddy instead of objecting, which apparently, yeah, I realized later on, I was like, objection, your honor, this shit sucks. 
Can we please do anything else? Lawyers are allegedly people. Allegedly. I'd feel terrible if I treated a human the way I treated Noah. Objection, these proceedings have exceeded the minimum threshold for generally accepted OSHA standards for hearing fatigue. I request an immediate dismissal on the basis of safety. Anyway, I don't, I don't know exactly why I felt compelled to share all that with you, but I really did enjoy the mock trial. I genuinely thought for a brief second in time that I might try to make myself into a... I might try to make myself into a lawyer. But by the time I circled back around to it and thought... But, you know, at the point in time where I was like, well, acting's not playing, it's like playing itself out. I've played a lawyer now. I was way too old, in my opinion, to, to head off to uh, grad school. Or, yeah. To head off to grad school and think that I'd potentially become a lawyer in my late 30s, early 40s. Hey, I'm very, very accidentally good at finding these places. I forget what this is. Flip. Oh, right. No, I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm going to go ahead and drop the left hand now. We've got a jillion guppy pieces, and I actually want chests on the next floor. You still can? Never too old to do something? I suppose so. I don't feel um, as intellectually sharp as I would have been, so there's a part of me that, like... Does it make sense to say I don't necessarily want to become a lawyer anymore because I could never be a lawyer in my prime? Golden pill? No, 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 no. The last thing I want to do is get some tears downgrades or some shit like that. All the guppy items, baby, for some reason. Sometimes get cases for lawyers. They are indeed people too. Well, uh, Pyrexis, what do you do again? If you don't mind me asking, cases how? Out of curiosity. That makes sense. One of my brothers is working to become a lawyer. They're definitely people. He's a goofy bastard, but I have no doubt he'd be a good lawyer. I'd see, like, I'd tease, but if Noah was a shitty lawyer, I would have fired him a long time ago. But Noah's got my back in this industry the way, oh, in, in a way that very few people have anybody's back in this industry. Noah has my back for helping him get into this industry the way that you would have, like, Dr. Lupo's back if he was one of your clients because you knew he was going to put a third floor on your house. The way that you would really have, like, Co Carnage's back if he was one of your clients. Because you knew that he was going to pay for your second honeymoon one day. <clears throat> Records clerk at the county clerk's office. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I've met some really, like, nice lawyers over my time. I I've not worked with a ton of lawyers that have done right by me, but... I've met a lot of nice lawyers. We are, in fact, the Uber Guppy. I scan criminal cases for the appellate division or pull files for lawyers to look at. Ugh. We'll see, we'll see how good Ghost Pepper can be now. We'll see how good Ghost Pepper can be with essentially max luck. 50% fire rate, still very good. Still very good. Noah hasn't done right by you. He set you up for the Reese's fast break. Uh, yeah, I like. I thought that was funny. Ow! It went away. Oh, that's the first time I've been hit in a minute. Bummer. Oh well, we still have very high luck. We just don't have absurdly high luck. I completely forgot that that went away if you got hit. Thermal Knight! Welcome, brother. El Pablo, welcome as well. How did Thanksgiving go? Uh, it was a little rough and ready on the AV. I was saying earlier, Justin and I had tested each individual piece of that AV, and it worked just fine. And then we, uh, put it all together, and nothing worked the way it was supposed to. So, uh, you know, I was bummed out that, um... I was bummed out that, uh... 
We had to go live late. I was bummed out that we... Not late by my standards, like two hours late. I was bummed out that we uh, had to push back Thanksgiving dinner a couple hours with my in-laws being here for the first time that Amber and I had ever hosted Thanksgiving. But ultimately, once the stream started, uh, everybody was very kind. Everybody was understanding that we had three new $400 cameras we were trying to figure out how to work. I was working with new tripods, new clamps. I was working on my... my backup computer uh my backup laptop so everybody gave us a very wide berth and then i didn't even think about this i i made money yesterday i just wanted it to not be in an embarrassing like uh i didn't want it to be in an embarrassing series of fuck-ups but uh i actually made a respectable amount of cash yesterday off of very generous contributions uh glitch sidewinder and Amethyst, who we met at, uh, Minecraft, all kicked in a hundo, and then, like, uh, Squint Fox kicked in 20 bucks, and a lot of other people kicked in, like, Dark Horn did five gifted subs, uh, I'm sure I'm missing some, but those are the ones that jumped to the forefront of my mind. I never even thought about the fact that we could make money yesterday. I just wanted, I wanted, I wanted to give people what I promised, which was a little taste of Thanksgiving for people who either hated their family or couldn't be home for Thanksgiving for some reason or another. And I felt bad that for a brief moment of time there, uh, we, we were struggling to pull that off. The troubleshooting aged me a year, but it was a relief to get there. It was like beating a Dark Souls boss. That was weird because I, I like there was a part of me that was self-conscious, Justin, because I felt like it made us look like we were just half-assing it throwing it together at the last minute but it was like super important for me that people knew that we had been working hard on this in what little downtime we've had this month that we had got together and actually like looked at stuff and and, and pulled stuff together and uh changed settings and done research and we thought we were at a spot where all we had to do was plug it in and turn it on and that was so much not the case as it turns out I think the stream yesterday went perfectly. We got to see Amber, a uh, roaring fire, good looking food, and two entertaining tech nerds. I, like, honestly, the, the only other thing that I was super concerned about was I was worried, I was worried that the whole thing would like alienate either Rory or Grayson or my mother and father-in-law and everybody, you know, w once I made it clear to them that they, you know, they, they were under no obligation to perform. Uh, once I made it clear to them that, you know, basically they weren't going to be talking to me anyway because I was going to be in there busting my ass to make sure that food came out for us on time, like reasonably close to on time and at the same time. Uh, and once they heard like the notifications go off and heard me saying like, hey, thank you for the tip and hey, thank you for the hundred and hey, thank you for the subs and resubs. It, it, it might have been the first time that... Uh, my in-laws really got to understand or see what it is I do and like put it put it into a context. And then my sons were happy because like Rory got to ham it up and Grayson got to actually come come in and run stream for about 15 minutes. He read he read uh read subs and gifted subs and narrated and uh changed scenes on OBS when we needed to change scenes. He was like our our little director for about 15 minutes. Tavi, I think a uh, big thing that could improve things is getting off that FiOS router and onto something better. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely buy a new router. I'll buy I'll buy fresh hardware. I'd never even thought about that, the fact that I should just buy something that's a little more capable than what uh, Verizon gave me as a default. I didn't get online until after you figured it out and it looked good. Yeah, that's, that was Justin and chat. Uh, Justin and chat just kind of brute forced it into submission. I'm doing a full floor clear because we're not at we're not at risk of being hurt. I know I've already seen Dad's key, so I can't get into the Mango Santa fight. But I like the idea of getting as many items as I possibly can. Maybe finding a get out of jail free card and absolutely slapping the living shit out of uh, Delirium if the opportunity comes up. I can't believe you didn't feed Justin and he had to have a lonely man's Thanksgiving after he left your house. He was there to work, not to fraternize. Listen, he's he's been he's been in Richmond what a, a year. 
I'm not I'm not I'm not running I'm not running a shelter. Okay? Once we got that AV working and once we shut off stream, he grabbed a plate and I was like, what the fuck do you think you're doing? And he was like, I was gonna grab some food and I was like, kick rocks, asshole. And I pushed him out the back door. I didn't even push him out the front door. The back door was closer. I was like, walk around the house. And I pushed him out the back door and shoved it closed and deadbolted it. This isn't the March of fucking dimes. Get the fuck out of here. There's a soup kitchen down the way. Yesterday helped me a lot, Tappy. I wasn't able to visit family this year because I have uh, parents at risk of COVID due to health and age. It was nice seeing a wonderful family coming together for a meal. I, you know, like, I, I I, try very hard to make sure that it never feels like me rubbing that shit in people's faces where I'm like, oh, you're having a rough holiday season? Would you like to watch me have an awesome one? But ultimately, like, it, you know, it, in those instances where I am able to, like, kind of Almost like a Yule Log, but for nice family experiences. If I'm able to do that for folks, then that was really what I was concerned about yesterday. Was just making sure that the tech, uh, that the tech and the stream lived up to what I was trying to, uh, uh, lived up to what I was trying to tell people it would be. My in-laws are, uh, yeah, my in-laws. When my in-laws are together, it's easier to be around them than it is to be around my parents together. I went out to vape and came back and the door was locked. It was very sad. Kick rocks and went home. Oh, game, you coward. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can get one more crack at this super duper secret room. The key I found is to get rooms that touch as many doors as possible. Ooh. Uh. We're fine. Is to get doors that touch as many rooms as possible so that you can get as many cracks at sneaking into the, the secret room as you can. Nuts. Need to get off the old coax Fios modem. My internet's pretty rock solid. It's only 8080 because of that one cable. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. <laughs> That's right, we threw his keys out into the street into a puddle. Tavi invited Justin up to the stream room so he could push him down the stairs. Oh, the noodle cutie says Clawford was really happy with yesterday's stream. He was having a rough day yesterday, missing Thanksgiving that we can't really celebrate due to COVID being insane here at the moment. So thank you for streaming your Thanksgiving. I, I love that. You know, it's like I, I, I like doing stuff like that. Just, Justin, you know, sets his stream up in such a way that he televises 